Hi, I'm Song Li. I'm happy to present characteristics of people who engage in online harassing behavior. A paper I wrote with Cliff Lampy, JJ Prescott, and Sarah Tashanabek. Surprisingly, we still don't know much about adults who engage in online harassing behavior. What are their traits, motives, and needs? Recent studies reveal that anyone can be triggered to perpetrate harassment while interacting with others online. It is not just inherent trolls or psychopaths. So, in our survey of self reports of harassment perpetration, we frame online harassment as interpersonal conflict, which is the overarching, more lenient, and less contestable notion than the term harassment. Also, not dismissing harassment as fringe behavior, we survey self reporters' psychosocial characteristics that are not necessarily clinical or antisocial. This paper reports our survey pretest results with 307 convenient samples. We asked participants if they have ever engaged in aggressive online conflict in a binary yes or no screener question. If no, whether they were tempted to do so or not. Those who responded yes turned out to have checked one or more boxes in a separate harassing behavior checklist in our survey. We analyzed if the psychosocial characteristics measured with existing validated scales. Predict the screener response. One major finding was that those with higher impulsivity, impulsive and premeditated aggression, and of an older age were more likely to have perpetrated harassment. Please find other results in the paper. Overall, we found that psychological factors like impulsivity and reactive aggression are strong predictors of harassment perpetration. Demographic factors other than age, such as race and gender, Were not significant predictors, unlike what previous studies say. Therefore, we suggest design interventions that proactively account for people's psychological characteristics as a potential alternative to the current one size fits all, after the fact content moderation approach. In this vein, we pose one interesting question to the Kai community Is it ethical and realistic to preemptively sanction people? With dispositions to engage in online harassing behavior. In other words, can we detect and deter potential harassers? What would be the pros and cons of it? Based on this pretest, we are now expanding our survey to larger representative samples. I hope to give you an update soon. Thank you for listening.